Hi guys, welcome to Bargains with Love. I am Lana and today I have a new type of video for you. I have my GoPro on me. So I just got this GoPro and this is the first time I'm going to use it and I'm going to go to my favorite thrift store, Thrift Giant, and do kind of go thrifting with me video using my new GoPro. I got this chest strap, so here it is. Um, I'm going to walk around the thrift store, look for the items that we can sell in our eBay store for profit. And Charles is coming with me. He's going to be helping me and let's see what we can find. So during this video, I will try to kind of explain how I look for the items, why certain items, you know, I pick up and why certain items I do not pick up. And then at the end of that video, uh, while I'm in the store, usually I look up comps on my phone before I go check check out. So now since I'm using my GoPro, I will be using my GoPro. I will be able to record that process, me looking up comps. So all of that will be in the video. So if you guys like this type of video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's go do it guys. <music> Okay, here we made it to the Thrift Giant store in Dallas, Texas. It doesn't look that great on the outside, but don't let the outside fool you. This is a good store. So here we are inside. They decided to start in this aisle with men's long sleeve shirts, mainly because there were not a lot of people in that aisle. And this is my first time with the GoPro. So I was a little bit nervous about it. Um, starting looking through the shirts. So I'm going to tell you kind of why some of the shirts attract my attention. This one uh, looked like a fishing shirt and I know fishing shirts sell pretty well so I wanted to look at that. Then this Brooks Brothers, um, long sleeve button down shirts by Brooks Brothers usually have done pretty well for me. So I'm putting the fishing shirt in my cart and I'm looking at the price for the Brooks Brothers at this store. Sometimes they staple it to the inside fabric tag. Um, so I decided, and I'm sorry, you couldn't see on the video what the price was because I didn't angle my GoPro camera correctly. Um, first time, so I'm learning. So next time I will be sure to angle it better. But this was a seersucker um, Banana Republic men's shirt. I put that in. So anything that catches my eye, I put it into my cart and I'm going to look up comps later. When I have a bunch of stuff in my cart at the end, I will look up the comps and decide what to keep and what not. I'm just looking right now at different, I guess, patterns or of course brands. Um, but if anything just looks like better quality, like this brand right here, this shirt looked like good quality, but I wasn't familiar with that brand so i had to look at it i'm putting that back the price is actually kind of expensive now so here's another brooks brothers shirt and uh, this is a nice style because it has that um, white color and it's blue with white stripes the price looks like was pretty good but i put it back and now i'm thinking i probably should have kept it so keep going through a bunch of just blue shirts nothing catches my attention but that's just how it is um that's how it is for me when i'm sourcing i'm just kind of trying to go pretty fast otherwise you can be there forever um and just look for the brands the texture the patterns the quality anything that catches my eye then i pull it and take another look at it so we've been concentrating recently on selling large size men's clothing, like plus sizes. So over here, I started in the section of uh, an extra large size and um, going larger from there. So the larger the size for men's clothing, of course, the better. I'm sure all of you know that, that larger sizes sell better. Uh, in our store, in our eBay store right now, we have a lot of plus size men's clothing 
This shirt caught my attention just because it looked nice. I like the style of it. The price was $6.99. It was a blue tag. I'm not sure if the blue tag was on sale that day. I don't think it was. Um, but for some reason, I just thought it looked nice. So I put it in my card to look it up later. And then this shirt caught my attention just because the brand um, looked like it's an Italian brand called Canali. And look at that. I was actually right when I, I had a good feeling that that's a nice brand because you, as you can see the soles on the screen, they are selling for pretty good money for pre-owned shirts. And so I kept looking at this shirt, but I put it back because of just the condition. It was pretty used and there was some like yellow stains on the collar and things like that. So unfortunately, put it back. This shirt right here looked nice. But no, this one too was Ralph Lauren uh, plaid, large size. But I think it was just too expensive, so I didn't pick it up. It's just hard to pick up stuff right now at the thrift store because everything is expensive. And here comes Charles with some filters that he found that he wanted me to take a look at. Not to skin it. Have you tried skinning it? Do you have your phone? Yes. Okay. All right, now I'm switching to the jeans. And these right here caught my attention because they just look different. I'm not familiar with that brand. Um, and they were size 34, so not a large size. They're $9.99, so I'll put them back because I'm not sure. Um, I am actually not that knowledgeable in men's jeans and here something drops on the floor. Don't you hate when something like that happens? Um, I'm not knowledgeable. I am looking for Levi's. Um, I'm not picking up Wrangler or Lee or Rustler, but I'm just looking um, for good quality or something that just looks like it's different. Something that's like the sevens yeah um something that attracts my attention i need to learn more about men's jeans i guess um as i am sourcing at the thrift store but when i'm just not that knowledgeable i'm just relying on my you know intuition but everything is just so expensive look at the prices there it's like 1681 14 all of the Levi's over here were expensive. It's just, look at that. There's a price, $24, $24.82 or something like that for Levi's. I mean, for us resellers, that's just not, not sustainable. We can't pay those types of prices. So it's really difficult. So I'm really glad that we found this supplier, which um, I've shared with you guys. In my previous videos, we have a supplier when and we buy clothing, men's clothing, buy the pound from them in large um, quantities. So um, the downside to that is that we receive clothing and it's not something that we cherry pick. So it's basically whatever we get from them, that's what we get and that's what we have to deal with. When you're at the thrift store sourcing, then you can use your own judgment and pick what you want it's just really hard now because thrift stores and we're all dealing with inflation um, everything is more expensive they have to pay more to their employees their rents are higher so they have to increase prices on the items they're selling so really difficult to source right now in thrift stores so if you agree with that please comment down below let me know how you're doing with your thrifting and sourcing for your reselling business. Okay, here's some red Levi's jeans that caught my attention and it's a green tag, which green tag was 50% off that day. So it was $8.99 with 50% off. Um, good size, $38.32. So I decided to put them in my cart. Then I saw these BKE jeans and I started looking at them because that is a good brand to pick up if you can get it for cheap, but these were too expensive. They were two of them on the rack. So I went ahead, put them back, did not take them because they were just too expensive. So then this 
interesting pair of jeans caught my attention, and those are Kogi jeans, and I know it's just depending on the style, um, and depending on whether or not they're vintage or not, Kogi jeans can bring some good money. So these looked really interesting, definitely did not look vintage, but I went ahead and put them in my card. Okay, let's turn in. Take a look. something new I didn't see this one before. Yeah. They're not that expensive. No. I think most of these Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, that's different. So it's not fake. I don't know. Not myself. I wouldn't think so. Okay, hey, let's put it back. Yeah. So I was wrong about that Donald Trump dress shirt, as you saw in the screenshot. They do sell for pretty good money, so Charles was right. I should have picked it up. Looking at this Harley Davidson shirt, I thought it was too expensive. Then I ran into Travis Matthew shirt, which I usually always pick up Travis Matthew because they sell really well. This is a good one. Travis Matthew. Ooh. I'll have to look at it. You have to pay attention how much it costs. Well, so today, like salmon and green is 50% uh, off. Look, this looks vintage. Mm -hmm. $2.99. It's kind of like a rugby shirt. Yeah. But it looks kind of small, like a Shrunk. Okay, look at it. Here's another Travis Matthew. Okay. Put it just in just yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll come in here. Here I look through some of those items, including bathrobes, because sometimes you can find a good one. And then I see this looks like vintage uh, windbreaker set. And that caught my eye because it was vintage. And I just wanted to look up that brand because, of course, I'm not familiar with that brand. So off in my cart it goes. Then I see these. Um, I didn't even know what they're called. I know they were for uh, bikers. And it's leather. Started looking at it. Definitely caught my attention. Then I'm noticing that this is Harley Davidson. Uh, they were expensive. $49.99. But Harley Davidson leather, I learned they're called chaps, so I decided to put them in my cart. Harley Davidson yeah, that's leather. All right, moving on to men's short sleeve button down shirts. I'm looking for Hawaiian shirts. Those usually do pretty well for us if we can get them for a good price. And anything that is an interesting pattern, that is always a good thing. This one caught my eye. Oh, look at that. Ralph Lauren. It's foot tall. And it's 50% off. I don't know. This that is... will come out. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I think it's vintage too. Okay. Oopsie. It's 50% off, 100% linen. But better. Three XSL T, and it's linen probably. Okay, 
king size. We sold something that was called king size. Yeah. Okay. This one's sale too. The loose trading. It's too expensive for twelve dollars. Here's another one of these. That's cool. Two exactly the same. We looked at some shorts too, of course. Um, didn't really find anything worth picking up because, again, just the prices are just too expensive. See any good hats? <laughs> Okay, these are nice. What about this one? Polo flex. That's too small. No. Polo Ralph Lauren. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's big. Okay. It's good. Size yeah. 44. Okay. And the nice summer shorts. Yeah. Welcome to Thrift Giant. Our specials today are. Okay, now we are in the hard goods aisle. I love looking at the ceramics, all this um, home decor and collectible items. Always looking for something to find. This is one of my favorite aisles to go through, even though we don't really sell these types of items in our eBay store anymore. I mean, we have some listed still that's been there for a while, but we're not looking to buy new items we're not sourcing for these types of items but if i'm in the store i'm gonna look at it and uh here you see some shoes in the video that's uh charles found some adidas shoes that he was showing me and we decided to go ahead and put them in the cart and look them up later so i'll continue to going through the aisle um, just to see if there's anything collectible. I looked at this dish. It's like for deviled eggs. I just wanted to see if it was Murano glass or not. And then just anything that catches my eye, I'll look at it. And maybe there's something that I find that I'm going to keep for myself. But if you guys see anything on those shelves that, shelves that I didn't look at that I should have picked up, just let me know. Here's the clear glass section, of course, that's the least favorite of everyone, I think, because it's just usually hard to find anything valuable in that section, or it's hard to, to see it. Um, this <laughs> figurine, for some reason, caught my eye. I'm not sure why I looked at it, put the back. Um, I want to look at some mugs. Um, I usually like to look and see if I can find some Starbucks mugs or anything else that's of value. I have sold some Starbucks mugs in the past and also kept some for myself, of course. So I'm just looking, but normally, yeah, I don't really want to pick up uh, breakable items like that because they're hard to ship and Matthew is not gonna like that he's not gonna be happy with me if I bring him stuff like that to list and to ship uh, but I still want to look I just can't help myself because those are fun to look through um, it also gives me a nice break from looking at all the clothing items all right, time to look up the items in my cart and see which ones are worth keeping. I'm starting with these Harley Davidson chaps. First, I did not know the correct name for them. So I was looking on eBay for comps for Harley Davidson leather pants, but I was not finding the correct comps because those were not pants, but I wasn't sure what they were called because I'm not the biker. So I decided to look at the inside fabric tag and see if I can find a style number and see if I can look them up by the that number there were several numbers there so I decided to go into Google search and just search Harley Davidson and then put in one of the numbers 
So finally, I found some listings that had the word chaps in them. And so I realized that these are called chaps. So then I was able to go into the eBay app again and look for Harley Davidson men's leather chaps. So started looking at some comps and then I had to refine them a little bit, I think, by the size. So once I put in, so this was a large size 2XL, I started finding some good comps for those 2XL chaps. They were selling for, as you can see, $199. 175 so the comps look pretty good for me so i decided to keep those so next i started looking up the windbreaker set the travel smith was the name of the brand i think it was called travel smith i had the hard time finding the right comps i couldn't really find anything good so i decided to pass on this set because i just wasn't sure how well it was going to do it was $8.99 it was not on sale so I'm taking it out of my cart next looking up this rugby shirt it's Oleg Cassini size XL it was only $2.99 and so I was hoping maybe I can find some good comps for this shirt it looked vintage but I couldn't find anything anything good no I couldn't find the right comps I guess sometimes it's just hard to find the right comps um, and sometimes it's better to use a Google Lens maybe, but here I'm just deciding to put it back. By this time, we've been shopping for a while, we're getting really tired, so this is a very tiring part of thrifting at the end, uh, having to look up comps on the items in your cart. But you have to do it because you don't want to buy items that are not gonna be selling. So for this shirt, Poetic Justice, I actually decided to use Google Lens, so sometimes that just works better. So this is from a 1993 movie, Poetic Justice. I found some comps by using Google Lens, but I did not think they were good enough for me to keep it. But uh, Google Lens is a good way of looking up items. So next were these Travis Matthew shirts that I picked up. You know, remember I got two of them. So on those shirts, I found some pretty good comps. They're definitely enough comps. They're easy to find. And the comps looked pretty good for me. Of course, with Travis Matthew, it's such a good men's brand. Usually, you know, those sell fast and they do sell for pretty good money. However, you still want to get them for for cheap, for less, because these were $8.99. This was a yellow tag, unfortunately, wasn't on sale. But I decided to still go ahead and get them because I was going to sell them, I think, in the bundle. That was my intent when I picked them up because they were the same size and basically the same style, just slightly different colors. So I decided to get the Travis Matthew shirts, both of them. Um, and it was a good decision because they sold. So these actually sold, both of the shirts sold to the same person. We did not list them as a bundle, but listed as an individual item. One person bought both of them for $15.30 each. So we made some money on them, but not a great amount of money because unfortunately they were not on sale. So next I looked up these Kugi jeans. I had high expectations for them, but um, looking through comps and I'm not sure if I just didn't use the right words, keywords. I did find some Kugi jeans comps, but I didn't think they were good enough for me to keep those jeans, so I'll put them back. Next I'm looking up these red Levi's uh, 501s. Uh, they caught my attention because they were red and they because they were on sale also and it was a good size and it's a green tag which was 50% off. Um, I'm thinking that because they're red just a little bit different not like your regular blue jeans. Found comps but not a lot of comps for red jeans in the solds so that should have been a sign that i should have understood if you don't see a lot of red jeans sold don't pick them up but i went ahead and put them in my cart and kept them 
and I still have them listed. They haven't sold yet. Next, I'm looking up this shirt because I wasn't familiar with that brand. It just looked nice to me, like good quality, but I quickly realized that it wasn't really worth that much money. So put it back. Next, I'm looking up this uh, Banana Republic Seersucker Men's shirt. And uh, Seersucker is a good fabric for the summer. So that was the end of June when I was shopping there and for the summer that's a good fabric banana republic pretty decent brand this fishing shirt by the brand habit was $8.99 i looked up comps and it was not worth picking it up Whew. all right guys we're back at home now this was a, a long thrifting trip and it was very tiring but thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, please let me know what you thought of this type of video and I apologize I didn't have my GoPro angled the right way. I'll be sure to do that next time. So please, please, please comment on this video and tell me your thoughts and your opinions on this video. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next week.